This is where deputies found Rachel Morin's car in this parking lot that people use to access the Ma and Pa Trail. Now her picture is on the historic sign marking the trail that once used to be an old rail line connecting Maryland to Pennsylvania. Investigators say the 37 year old mom of five would come here often walking or running on this trail with all its twists and turns. It is one that is packed with people running, walking and cycling. People we've spoken to say that in the weeks since Rachel's murder, this place has actually thinned out a little bit because of that fear and those still using it have made changes to protect themselves. Pepper spray, the whistles that you pull, um, another whistle to just carry with us in our fanny packs, have on our wrists just so we're prepared in case we are walking alone. About a mile in from the parking lot near this dark tunnel is where it's believed investigators found the mom's body. She was walking on August 5th around 6 in the evening when investigators say she was brutally attacked. Her body not found until the next day. It is not clear which way the suspect went. You have these woods over here, this trail that leads back to the parking lot, a highway, and then this tunnel behind us.